Hello there, and welcome to the review for Velvet Assassin, what I will say with words coming out of my head and you can listen to with your ears if you want. Velvet Assassin was promised to be a deep and daring tale of World War II espionage featuring a very real and believable heroine as we relive her final thrilling missions and piece together what happened to her. In actuality, Velvet Assassin is just a very rubbish game that you should not buy with money, even if it's chocolate money, or coins made out of your own poo. Playing as Violet Summer, who is currently all morphined up on her deathbed or something, you will go through her past stealth missions, sneaking through incredibly dark places where you can't see anything, killing Germans in a variety of boring ways, and being spotted through walls and relentlessly chased by Germans that are better at fighting than you, and somehow manage to be both incredibly stupid, yet supremely aware and acute at the exact same time. The game is a sensitive portrayal of a real-life World War II heroine, which is why the main character is always running around in skimpy nightdresses and figure-hugging leather stealth suits, because that's what developing a strong and distinctive female character is all about. Let's get it on. Velvet Assassin is pure stealth and it lets you know it. The game is a relentless case of sneak kill, sneak kill, sneak kill, with nothing threatening to break the monotony. Most of the experience is spent sitting in a shadow for ages, listening to Nazis say stupid things, then sneaking up behind them to press a button and watch a deeply uninteresting murder animation. Since we got to be Perhaps the boring aspect of the game could be forgiven if the rest of it wasn't just so bloody retarded. For a start, you can't manually save anywhere, and the autosave checkpoints are few and far between. If you die, which will probably happen often, you'll usually have to repeat vast sections of the game, including all the waiting around in shadows and listening to repeated conversations, all in German, and always about inane and worthless things that add nothing of value to your life. Also, for a game that claims to be realistic, Velvet Assassin has one of the least believable AI systems in the world, which seems to randomly bestow Nazis with either complete stupidity or precognitive genius, since some won't be able to see you even if you're a foot away, while others can seemingly see through time and space to spot you. What's more, why has the term realism been confused with plays as slow and clumsily as an 80 year old man having a wank on a seesaw? There is a reason why people choose video games over real life, and that's because real life is shit. The game's developers proudly boast that this game is about a vulnerable woman and isn't like Metal Gear Solid. The problem is that Metal Gear Solid is actually fun. This game is not, because it pits a woman with all the stamina of soggy toilet paper against Nazis who can apparently take a knife to the face, proving once and for all that Germans are the superior race. Velvet Assassin is bad. It's really quite bad. When the best parts of the game are the bits where you're sitting in a dark room listening to German people accuse one another of stealing chocolate, you've got a real problem. I couldn't recommend this game even to an idiot. Keep away from it at all costs.